Start your day with remembrance of us. Start your day with remembrance of us. Start your day. Start your day. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم افتح علينا حكمتك وانشر علينا رحمتك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام والله عز وجل open the doors of knowledge and wisdom for us have mercy on us O the one who is the most honorable the most gracious الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الحمد لله once again dear viewers and listeners of Madani channel, you are watching The Early Echo. I am once again in the company of our esteemed and respected guests who have been joining us in the past few episodes and programs, mashallah, on Madani channel. And he is none other than our respected and honorable Maulana Abdul Qadir, Qadri Mu'ini, Attari Sallamahu Al-Bari. And Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, once again, he is with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's listen to the virtues of reciting the Rudi Fak, the Prophet of Rahmah, the intercess of the Ummah, the owner of Jannah. Arwahuna Fida sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated in a hadith, the one who recites a hundred times the Rudi upon me daily, Allah azza wa jalla shall inscribe between his eyes that he is freed from hypocrisy and he is freed from the hell fire and on the day of judgment such a person shall be resurrected among the martyrs. سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ حضور ایسا کرم مجھ پہ کاش ہو جائے حضور ایسا کرم مجھ پہ کاش ہو جائے میرا وظیفہ درود و سلام ہو جائے آمین ثم آمین اللہم آمین let's move to the next segment and that is did you know the question for this morning is displayed on your screens. Have a look at your screens, mashallah. And the question is, which birds consume embers? Which birds consume embers? Alhamdulillah, of course, uh, um, all the creation of Allah Azza wa Jalla is created in different ways. Animals, humans, these creations have different likes and tastes. And you'll be really shocked to know, subhanallah, that which bird consumes embers, Allahu Akbar. Uh, for now, we even have a kalam, a beautiful hamdi bari ta'ala, whereas our discussion for this morning is our Islamic culture. Jiha, uh, with regards to the culture and how should one be, uh, which culture should you follow, is what we are going to be discussing. Please be part of our discussion for now. Let's Abhi kalam sunte hai, Allah karam, Allah karam. Inshallah, Zawajal, when we do return, we shall continue with our discussion. Stay locked with Madani channel. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mere maula, mere maula, maula. से पगले दिल दरबार ये कैसा है पेशानी से पगले दिल सजदे में झुकाया है अल्लाह के घर में हूँ 
सजदे में झुकाया है अल्लाह के घर में हूँ कौन को चूमा है अल्लाह के घर में हो हर कौन को चूमा है अल्लाह के घर में हो रहमत का सर पर यही साया है अल्लाह के घर में हूँ सर पर यही साया है अल्लाह के घर में हूँ फिक्र नहीं कोई मेहमान खुदा के गए अब फिक्र नहीं कोई अल्लाह ने खिलाना है अल्लाह के घर में हो अल्लाह ने खिलाना है अल्लाह के घर में हो समत नजर उठी एक नूर नजर आया जी समत नजर उठी एक नूर नजर आया पुर नूर नजारा है अल्लाह के घर में हूँ पुर नूर नजारा है अल्लाह के घर में हूँ अल्लाह के घर में हूँ कावे का नजारा है अल्लाह के घर में हूँ सजदे में उजागर गए और सामने काबा गए सजदे जागर गए और सामने काबा है मौला ने नवाजा है अल्लाह के घर में हो मौला ने नवाजा है अल्लाह के घर में हो अल्लाह ने बुलाया
اللہ کرم اللہ کرم اللہ کرم اللہ کرم سبحان اللہ what a beautiful recitation dear viewers of Madani channel and uh, this was the hamd I was speaking about often make a dhikrullah trust me dear viewers of Madani channel peace, tranquility and happiness is not in the wealth of this world no it is in the comfort and luxury of this world rather as per the holy quran ifaq ala bi dhikrillahi tatma illu al-qudu Allahu Akbar If one is looking for tranquility and happiness, any sukoon for the heart is only in the dhikr and remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jalla. One's heart attains satisfaction when you engage yourself in the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jalla. So form the habit on a daily basis to moist your tongues with dhikrullah. Trust me dear viewers, your entire day would go so smooth and you will find yourself to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So keep your tongues moist. With dhikrullah, inshallah azza wa jalla, you shall reap the blessings of it. Alhamdulillah, once again we say, Jazakumullahu khaira to our respected Maulana Sahib who is with us right now on Madani channel and our discussion is more sub our Islamic culture. Alhamdulillah. As I mentioned to the viewers of Madani channel, that uh, in this world, more sub, we all have been sent by our creator Allah azza wa jalla. These various tribes, these various cultures, these various social statuses, background, colors, languages, all of this is only for one purpose as per the Holy Quran Ipaq. And Allah Azza wa Jalla even before giving the purpose even mentions that you have been created from one man and one woman. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. In, in the commentary of this uh, ayah, I'm referring to this famous verse of the Holy Quran Ipaq. Allah Azza wa Jalla in this verse Mu'asab states that we have been created from one man and one woman and in the tafsir of this verse, Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala writes that the reason for mentioning one man and one woman is to remind us that they have been created. Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was created from soil. And we are his progeny. We are the offspring of Adam ala nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu wasalam. Therefore, hum bhi to mitti se peda huye. So, why should one brag about his lineage, about his culture, about his background, about his status, so on and so forth? Why? Because lita arafu, these various Uh, backgrounds and various uh, statuses and cultures is basically there, these castes, so on to say, the lineages are there just to make sure that you recognize one another. Mm -hmm. So that you may recognize one another. Now this is the focus, Mawlana Sahib, that we are only judged in the sight of Allah by the piety and taqwa. Yes, this is The fine line. However, Mu'asab, we firstly learn that yes, there are various cultures on this land, Mu'asab. Mm -hmm. People follow different types of cultures, uh, people have different likes and um, every culture is so different from each other, Mu'asab. When you travel the land, when you travel, you make suffer, we get to witness these things here. And these days, Mu'asab, through technology, we get to know the cultures of other religions and other people and cities and towns via the social media. We get to see and, and learn, uh, you know, Which cultures are in line with Islam? Subhanallah. Which culture guides a person towards Islam? Which culture has a lot of immorality, indecency, uh, disrespect? Whether it is your nikah ceremonies, your get-togethers, whether it is the language itself, whether it is the dressing culture, whether it is the loving culture, whether it is the Islamic culture, we all say that we follow Islam being Muslims, but even in Islam we have made our own types of cultures, Mu'asab, our own following, our own ideas. So many different types of, of things are happening out there. So uh, we want to discuss our Islamic culture so that we know in light of Quran Ipaq and the blessed ahadith of Rasul Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Am I living my life within the boundaries of Sharia? Is my culture the culture of Islam, yani how, how Islam would want me to live my life, yani mm. how should I live, this is what Mu'asab, inshallah Zawajallah, if Mu'asab could shed some light on this matter, inshallah Zawajallah, and make the viewers of Madinah, inshallah, understand this beautiful concept of, of Islamic culture itself. Alhamdulillah. Um, Mu'asab has, um, has beautifully explained that uh, in Islam, now we have different races, right? Because Islam unites all, whether it's a white man, a black man, or an Asian man, or South American, or any race, it doesn't matter. Because to Islam, Islam unites all, whether you speak Swahili, Punjabi, Arabic, 
Persian, English, doesn't matter. Because when, inshallah, we all get together in the plains of uh, Makkah mm. and uh, recite the labbaik, la sharika laka labbaik, mm. in one voice, mm. you cannot distinguish one from the other. Mm. Subhanallah. What a spiritual feeling it is, Mawasa, mm. when you're there and you realize that there is no barrier, Mawasa. Yeah. There is no barrier. They can uh, gharib hai, ameer hai. Mm. MashaAllah, subhanAllah, uh, 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 and this is of course a beauty in itself. In other countries, Mosab, there is a daily congregation, mm-hmm. which refers to Fajr, Buhar, Asr, Maghrib, Shah. Then you have the weekly congregation, which is known as Salat al Jumu'ah. Then we have, of course, the yearly congregation, which is the Tu'idain, and that's bigger, of course, it gets bigger and bigger. And then you have the yearly congregation, Mosab, which of course mm-hmm. refers to the Hajj, which happens once a year, Tu'idain, mm-hmm. mashallah, twice a year. We gather, and this is one place, Mawasab, from all these little stages, from your community to the Eidgah, mm. and from the Eidgah to Min Arafat, to see, subhanAllah, from so many parts of the world, people unite and together recite, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, 100% Mawasab. This really opens the heart and makes a person understand that that boastfulness was in my country, that showing off was in my place, that was my culture, but here, Islam teaches us simplicity. Islam teaches us how to mend. Islam teaches us equality. And just in line with the blessed hadith of Rasulullah Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that uh, no Arab uh, is superior over a non-Arab. This is the Nabi of Rahmah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who during Hajjat al-Wada from his Mubarak tongue you know mentioned these few words subhanallah which, which struck the hearts of those Mubarak and blessed companions that stood and heard this Mubarak bayan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam openly explained and said, a white person is not more virtuous than a black person. If you have white skin, Mubarak for you, but that does not give you superiority over a person who has a dark skin. Allah. Likewise, a person who has a dark skin, he is not more virtuous than a person who has white skin. But yes, except through taqwa Taqwa jiske paas ho, yehi to cheez hai muasab. This is what we don't look at. We are so uh, narrow-minded muasab and narrow-sighted that our sight only falls upon those luxuries which are temporary. That happiness is to men, that's meant to last for a few seconds and a few moments is what we base our judgment upon. And that is a yardstick to see, oh, mashallah, he's a very pious man. Why? Because he drives a mm-hmm. car or because he looks very nice or because he comes from a certain background, Mawasab. These backgrounds, cultures, and caste, and social statuses, as we mentioned in the holy verse of the Holy Quran, is nothing but just for us to recognize each other. This all is because of taqwa. Mawasab, it is not difficult to possess it. If you have taqwa, Mawasab, every culture comes into other Mawasab. Definitely. Let's have a look at our cultures, Mawasab. Let's, look, let's yeah. have a look. Let's, let's go straight, Mawasab, to one of the cultures. Of course, every culture is different. Let's look at South Africa. Can Mawasab shed some light on what you have noticed in our cultures in, in with regards to our wedding ceremonies, Mawasab? Daughters and sons get married, Mawasab. Yeah. What have you noticed? As uh, Mawasab has beautifully mentioned, the taqwa is, should, be, should be the yardstick that is the criteria given by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This was the last known sermon of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, last known address to the masses. And this uh, address was not a general, normal address. It was a constitutional address of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this became part of Islamic, our Islamic constitution. And uh, if, if we just uh, look at and, and take, adopt the sunnah of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we don't have to follow man-made laws, you know, that, that are there to protect the human rights. Because our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he gave us the perfect, perfect formula how to live in peace and harmony with other, uh, uh, other racial backgrounds and uh, uh, different tribes that are different, that look different from us. But Islam unites us all, alhamdulillah. As Masa mentioned, in today's culture, in our locality, in, in uh, uh, Southern Africa, alhamdulillah, uh, we have uh, our beautiful culture of Islam. Of course, there are some uh, negligible you know, differences that we can in every society that creeps in from other uh, external elements that are there, influenced by uh, non-Islamic cultures. So if the culture is not directly colliding with our Islamic values, there is no harm in that. But where there is a clash, 
let's say, for example, music is blasting at the wedding ceremony. Now, this is not Islamic culture. So that's where we need to put our foot down that, you know what? Oh. This is where, where we set our boundaries. Allah. So the solutions are there if we really want to implement and follow because Islam is simple. Islam doesn't complicate things. Rasulullah sallallahu often said in his Mubarak hadith, Islam is easy, subhanAllah. Yeah. It's we who make it complicated. Yeah, but, subhanAllah, simple, Mu'asab, yeah. simplified, and we make it difficult. So Mu'asab, what you are saying is, Mu'asab, these rasmu rawaj, yeah. people have their own traditions, right? Their own tor tariqe mm-hmm. hote hain. Lekin, agar musalman ho, aur hum in tor tariqe ko follow karte hain, tor tariqe ko follow karte hain, misal ke tor pe, ye apne islamic marital customs, our uh, cultural traditions, all of them at this very moment, most of them are devoid of any um, uh, immorality or indecency. Mu'asab. They are devoid of this. It's known. There is no, you know, music blasting in Islamic mm-hmm. weddings. Proper jo Islamic weddings, jo hote hai, mm-hmm. jo Islam ko follow karte hai, they would not have bepar bigi, blasting music, uh, spending money lavishly on the wedding mm-hmm. itself. These things, of course, right? Having a simple wedding. Yeah. Simply getting your daughters or your children married, you know, um, this invites the blessings and barakah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This calls upon the blessings and you will be bestowed with immense blessings for this. You will see blessings in the wedding as well. For we have seen on weddings, most of millions of dollars and pounds that have been spent. Such nikahs and unions may perhaps last nothing for but a little moment more. Talaqs like this we have heard in the news channels before had lasted for maybe one day. Some nikahs lasted for two days, three days, some for just hours more. So in the same day, mm-hmm. they were married during the day and by the evening they were separated from each other. And this is all because of those immoralities, indecencies. Not focusing on what Islam wants, but what the culture has introduced, as you said, mentioned, uh, as you mentioned, influenced by some cultures, Mu'asab. And very openly, this is not hidden uh, from, uh, it's a larger influence from the Western cultures, Mu'asab, yeah. which uh, has, uh, you know, uh, taken the youth out there uh, with a huge wave Mu'asab, of crazily following their culture. It's that style, it's that andaz, it's that way. And that causes the heart to corrupt Mu'asab as well. Yeah. It is that dressing code, it is that walking habit, it is that style, it is uh, that andaz that they introduce which causes the heart to become hardened Mu'asab. A person never gets closer to Allah Azza However, it is in the style and in the andaz and sunnah of Mustafa Jani Rahman sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the moment you begin to adopt those sunnahs, Mu'asab, subhanallah, a person automatically starts to fear Allah Azza wa He then gets closer to Allah Azza wa Jalla and his beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yani sunnah to ko kamal hai Mu'asab. Whereas following uh, the traditions and the, the customs of the Western world, Mu'asab, has caused large amount of youth throughout the globe to become corrupted Mu'asab in various ways. It is then, of course, the company and then so on and so forth. It just goes to another level altogether. These cultures have actually, Mu'asab, broken many families apart. Now you get people who are in the family, the, the wife wants to follow Islam, the husband doesn't want to follow Islam. The children are all uh, in a situation, Mu'asab, hum kis culture ko follow kare? Meaning it's become a personal choice, like, you know, became a personal like a preference. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So, this is a very dangerous situation, Mu'asab, when you leave your children with a situation mm-hmm. for them to choose between the religions, between cultures, between of how to dress and how not to dress because of one doing this and one doing the other. So the culture is very simple. If only we could follow those tariqahs and those andaz and styles of Mustafa, Jani Rahman, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, how he got his blessed daughter, Fatima Zahra, radiyallahu mm-hmm. anha, married Mu'asab. Yeah. Every father, har baap ye chata hai ki, Every father wants for his child, child, beta ho, beti ho. You know, he wants to spend, he wants to go out of his way. And who would ever love his child more than the Prophet could love his ummah and his own children mm. as a father? What examples he had set? Despite having the ability of turning Mount Uhud into gold, <laughs> yani, to the extent of holding the keys to the treasures of Allah. Mm-hmm. Subhanallah, having the keys given in his hands on the day of judgment too, he will be given the keys to paradise. Mu'asab. Having all of those treasures in his hands or having the access to those treasures, Mu'asab, still he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam marries his daughter to Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu in such a way, Mu'asab, ki 
आज तक ना हिस्ट्री में इसका जवाब ही नहीं क्या बात आज तक ये जवाब ही नहीं है मोहन साहब ऐसा शादी मोहन साहब ना आसमान ने देखा ना जमीन ने देखी and now amir al sunnat i think he just fell in love with that sadgi of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam teri sadgi pe lakho kya baat teri aajizi pe kya baat ho salam hai aajizana madni 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 wale subhanallah subhanallah and 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 this is the beautiful culture of islam wa sab otherwise in nikaz mein kya hota hai mohan sahab ladaiye hote hain jhagde hote hain uh, there are so much of demands in some an islamic wedding mohan sahab and those who being muslims demand such things during the nikah before mm-hmm. the nikah ki itna saman chahiye hota hai mohan sahab that causes so much of arguments that's against the culture of islam definitely he is not a given marriage is given by the boy to the girl right is yes. <laughs> other way around allah <laughs> akbar <laughs> to ye islam mein kabhi tha nahi mohan sahab yeah. look at this subhanallah yeah. how beautiful and how easy islam in some cultures mohan sahab mm. without any comparison yeah uh there could be some cultures here in south africa where as a person has to give so many amount of cows x amount of goats mm-hmm. it goes into the numbers of sometimes 15 20 30 more sab jab tak ki wo cheeze na ho then in in some cultures i'm just saying right yeah. with all due respect i'm just saying in this regard you pay the minimum mahar mohan sab so minimum dowry allahu akbar and the nikah and the aqd can be performed mohan sab without any uh delay without any suffering involved between two people mohan sahab in such a easy way in the witnesses of a few people according to islam mm-hmm. those witnesses the sharait must be met completely those conditions must be met completely and nikah is performed without any any problem subhanallah so the whole thing boils down to the niyat mohan sahab ki what is the niyat of the person ki hum kis niyat se nikah kar rahe hain main niyat karwa raha hu apne bachcho ka to main kis niyat se karwa de raha hu कि लोग देखें बात करें कि मेरे मेरा मेरा अल्लाह खुश हो मेरा रब खुश हो मेरे प्यारे आकाशम खुश हो ये नियत हो अगर सुबह अल्लाह क्या बात है मदीने की सिचुएशन विल चेंज एंड दिस इज द कल्चर विच विल रिमूव ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ इमोडस्टी ऑल सॉर्ट मिसकनसेप्शन मिसचिप्स इन आवर सोसाइटी अदरवाइज मोह सब मेनी पीपल बिकम द रीजन फॉर इन्वाइटिंग दुनाथ मोह Allah Akbar you know the, one of the customs uh, that is observed now alhamdulillah a man is getting married to a woman alhamdulillah this is the way it is supposed to be this is the natural order that was cr- uh, created and set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and was passed down from all the anbiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from sayyidina adam ala nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu wassalam to sayyidina ibrahim alayhi salam and all the other anbiya even sayyidina lut alayhi salam now we are seeing a, a very burning issue prevalent in our society where the the action of uh, the nation of sayyidna nuh lut alayhi salam is made prevalent mm. and there are other khurafat that is you know the, the corruption that has crept into our society and which has been uh, adding in acts of indecency and in immorality even in our education system now we are taught these immoral things you know Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show us mercy on our society and all people and give us the ability to understand these matters more sir it's really really important we're going to go on to the next part more sir of course uh, we're going to round up inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala what are the harms and effects of uh, such uh, you know conclusions in our society such as when people do not learn how to respect there are some cultures more sir jisme adab hi nahi hai more sir bilkul wo us adab se void hi hota hai jiske wajah se galiyan galoj fighting arguments quarrels and so many other mis- confusions take this mass up we're going to get there inshallah just in a moment let's quickly uh, turn towards our viewers inshallah azawajal and have a look at our screens and see what do our viewers have to say with regards to the question that we asked earlier a very informative and uh, to be honest with mass up i learned something new myself mujhe uh, you know I, i was very actually, actually shocked myself to learn this mashallah and many people out there may be know it mashallah but um, for those who don't know and for those who will learn this will increase your general knowledge inshallah which bird consumes embers is what we had asked and now let's take in the first caller for this morning sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat my name is abdul hasib qobla from malawi the answer is ostrich wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ma sha allah Did I hear the word ostrich, Masab? Mashallah. He says ostrich. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next caller, please. Assalamualaikum. I think the answer is ababil. Jazakallah. 
وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته ابا بيل ما شاء الله كيا بات ہے مدینے کی اگے بڑھتے دیکھتے ہیں ہمارے اسامی بھائی اور کیا جواب دیتے ہیں جی السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ما شاء الله ا ویری بیوٹیفل پروگرام ائی ووڈ تھنک دیٹ دی برڈ دیٹ کنزیومز ایمبرز از این اوسٹریچ جزاکم اللہ خیرا Mashallah mashallah okay the viewers of Madinah channel today mashallah quite geared up and uh, are giving us consistent answers mashallah so we have three over two over one mashallah one brother says ababil two says mm-hmm. ostrich let's take in one more call up please assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh for the question which bird consumes embers i think it's an ostrich sakala wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wabarakatuh so far mashallah Three brothers mentioned ostrich, one brother says ababil, and uh, the answer is 112% correct for those who mention ostrich, Mahasab, alhamdulillah. Your answer is absolutely correct. The answer is correct, the answer is correct, the answer is correct to those, and the answer is ostrich that eats embers, and as you can see from your screens as well, uh, mashallah, may Allah Azza wa Jalla grant us such knowledge that is beneficial. So when you see an ostrich, uh-huh. you should know Uh, they also call an ostrich a fool more uh, simply because it hides its head into the ground when it's seen from a distance so usko ye lagta hai ki koi mujhe dekh nahi raha hai to us waqt apne sar ko zameen mein chupa leti hai chupa leta hai so alhamdulillah i have seen ostriches here in africa most of are quite huge and various mm-hmm. countries different sizes but uh, it is an animal not to mess around with at the same time most mm-hmm. uh, recently i was driving past at some place and i seen an ostrich Mm-hmm. that was chasing after something like a cheez mujhe nazar nahi aayi lekin i have seen it running in a speed so they are very fast runners as well and if they catch you they can really harm you as well mm-hmm. so mashallah uh, when we see these creations of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala most of you come to one conclusion that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most powerful subhanallah really mashallah safar karne ke waqt you see the mountains you see mm-hmm. the places you go through these valleys and you go and you see subhanallah there is a creator who has created all of this Alhamdulillah Masa we have now come to the end of the program and kya baat hai Madina ki we discussed our culture our islamic culture and 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 this is the beauty of islam that har mod pe islam ne hame sikhaya bataya samjhaya Masa subhanallah aur seedha rasta bhi dikhaya aur alhamdulillah in every salah we ask Allah azza wa jalla to keep us guided on the righteous path dear viewers so prior to islam look at the conditions of women our islamic sisters daughters our mothers our little children were buried alive and wives were ill treated masab they were thrown aside women were generally regarded as a second class citizens masab you know especially if they had the monthly sicknesses they weren't even allowed to sit in the same home as the men folk such things not even eating in the same utensils masab bilkul unko alag kiya jata tha unke shohron ke intikal ke baad unko virasat mein se kuch nahi milta tha there was no inheritance for them there was no shares for them Islam came as the champion for the rights of women subhanallah subhanallah Islam came and changed the tables around Islam came with such beautiful cultures that from that day onwards after Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam laid the foundation and the rules for this mushaf after Allah azza wa jalla made this concrete with ayat in the holy quran e pak the entire surah is known as surah nisa to protect the dignity and the rights of our islamic sisters our mothers our daughters out there subhanallah Subhanallah the entire world the entire dunya became civilized adopting this beautiful culture of our own islam was subhanallah education ko dekh le to yahi hal hai hamare education system ko dekh le from the very beginning subhanallah masab such education is given with teaches a person about paaki na paaki just so that he can have his mind straight apne dil ko durust kar le apne dimag ko durust kar le Islam is the solution for all problems Muhammad alhamdulillah Islam tezi ke sath badh raha Allah taala hame hidayat bhi ata farmaye Muhammad sab any concluding words from your side inshallah now nah, so uh, viewers alhamdulillah they are getting sharp now mashallah you know all the uh, answers spot on you know alhamdulillah Three, right alhamdulillah. answers out of four and uh, we ourselves were were surprised to learn such facts and yeah. uh, they are catching up to us alhamdulillah yeah. which is a very good sign mashallah mubarak to them that uh, they are keen learners and they they are trying to find out more and more inshallah and uh, of course uh, ostrich being uh, the wonderful creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which reminds me of just one simple thing uh, i read uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we really want to learn if we really really want to learn about the ma'rifat of allah the recognition of allah then every leaf of every tree is our teacher 
سبحان اللہ کیا بات ہے مدینہ کی ماں صاحب اللہ اکبر ایوری لیف از اور ٹیچر دیٹ انڈیکیٹس ٹو وارڈ اٹس کریٹر اینڈ دیٹ از اللہ صاحب جل اللہ مان صاحب انسان کو دیکھ لیں لک ایٹ ایوری تھنگ اراؤنڈ اس انڈیکیٹس دیٹ دے از سم ون ہو کریٹڈ اٹ اینڈ اٹ کین نیور بی اینی ون ادر دین اللہ صاحب جل اللہ سبحان اللہ یہ اللہ صاحب جل اللہ کیپ اس گائیڈ شکر ان بارک اللہ ڈیو یو ویز کیپ دس محبت اینڈ ریسپیکٹ Uh, and love alive, understand our Islamic culture, understand the spirit of Islam, understand the demand of Islam, understand the reason why you are a Muslim and how you should be as a Muslim. Your life will lead in accordance to the Quran and Sunnah, inshallah. You will see a difference. Whatever hurdles and obstacles you have on your path will be eradicated through the blessings of you following strictly that which Allah has commanded you to follow in the Holy Quran. We shall be back with another episode, inshallah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu Start your day with remembrance of us all. Start your day with remembrance of us all. Start your day. Start your day.